Hey guys, this is Zinchronize here. Today we're looking at my gameplay on one of the Call of Duty maps. I don't know which one it is. I just got the game uh, yesterday and I was only able to run it today. So far it seems like an amazing game, although I did have some incredible problems trying to get it to run. And I spent a, a good three hours searching the web before I found something suitable um, to fix this. Now you can see here I get a few cheap kills, proceed up the stairs, and then here I run at the back and get this guy. Earlier on, um, just before I killed, well just after I killed that, just before I killed that first guy, sorry, I threw a grenade. That grenade um, got me a vehicle kill, so if you were looking at the bottom left corner of the screen that, and you saw the vehicle kill, uh, that's what it was. Um, what actually happened is when I threw the grenade up, it bounced off the roof of the building that I was just in, came over the top of that uh, roof, smashed through the car, uh, car window, and set the car on fire. And there was a sniper near near the car, and he kind of tagged about there, and he only really decided to move just as it blew up. I'll show you that clip at the end. Here I'm a bit kind of stealthy because I'm quite close to my uh, kill streak and I'm thinking should I no I was thinking should I just kind of crouch about a bit go low can I avoid everyone or just go in for it here I call in this care package I can't remember quite what I got in this care package so we will just have to sit, wait and see but I, if it I have the kind of brief memory that it might have been the Guardian, and that this time I didn't really know what the Guardian did. This was quite a nice little run here. Again, quite a lot of cheap kills, but this was only like my fourth match of the uh, on PC. Well, four, my, my fourth ever Call of Duty match on PC, but I've played a lot of Call of Duty on my Xbox. On my Xbox I've played a couple, a couple months at least, playtime, over the Call of Duty brand. Most notably, in terms of playtime, would have been Modern Warfare 2, in which I had a month and 17 hours playtime, which is pretty insane. But that was the first Call of Duty I ever owned. And it was, I just loved it. And then when Black Ops came out, I just didn't think it was good enough and went back to Modern Warfare 2. But now this one's out. This one is, it's a lot better. It's more, it's uh, it's how I would have liked to have seen Modern Warfare 3. Because Modern Warfare 3, it was okay, but it it, it was missing something. And I think this has just filled in all those somethings. So right here I'm using the Hunter Killer, no, the Precision Airstrike thing. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what all the kill streaks are called. Again, I have only had, I have only been able to play the game for a few hours, so I haven't really got into what the kills are called. Kill streaks are called. No, 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 they're called score streaks in in this college. Really. I remember that much. This guy, he was quite unlucky. I killed him quite a couple of times in kind of cheap shots. The he was the guy who was in the sniper beside the van who I killed at the start with the grenade. To install this, I had to do a lot of stuff involving my drivers. And I mean a lot of stuff. And that's it seems to have affected my Minecraft quite badly. My Minecraft, I'm not, I normally get about 300 frames per second when I'm not recording. And when I am recording, I get about 60. And if I've been running the PC for a while, about 40. But I logged in today after having just check up on my stuff because I play multiplayer more than I do single player. Some of you will know that, some of you won't. And when I logged in, what did I find? I found 40 frames per second. And that was with the uh, tone downs. When I had all my settings at normal, 
well, what I would call normal, because normally I do uh, normal plus 64, I believe. So plus 40, no, plus 48 it is even. When I have them all at my, nor the settings I would um, say to be normal, it just, it was horrific. It was 28, 30. And I know some of you do play on that, but when you, when you come from playing on 300 to 40, when you start getting 28, it's a bit, and I know 300 to 40 is quite a big jump, that's, it's a laptop, so when it's cool, it runs really well. As it starts to get hotter, it does slow down considerably, and it, yeah, the frame rate goes down with it. I, f I believe this is the next round, just after this. Yep, you can hear the the counter going. Yep, time limit reach. And did I get the last thing? I cannot remember. We will see. We will see. Oh, well, we won't see because it didn't show it. <coughs> yeah, this, I got the Guardian shield and I had no idea what it did whatsoever. I just, I thought it was going to like block some bullets or put enemies in a confusion. I didn't realize that it was like a radioactive thing. And you probably find out what that Guardian shield is in single player, but I haven't played the single player yet because the multiplayer was the first thing I was able to run having done all my patches and stuff and if you're getting problems with your Black Ops 2 just tell me in the comments and I will um, explain in detail how I fixed mine and yeah I'll just tell you what, what was wrong with mine upon starting my game up first of all I noticed it was really really laggy and that shouldn't be happening because I had updated my drivers and all that for the game but I thought well you know what, I've updated my drivers let's see what else I need to update so I just updated my well not update but I updated my drivers quite recently so I just updated my drivers again all that sort of stuff here I'm not really sure how this works I didn't really realize it was a grenade launcher because it did say like war machine or something like that something that made me think I was like a juggernaut with all this awesome shit but I wasn't Anyway, so when I would log into Black Ops, it would lag horrendously, and I'd get to a game, and in the top left hand, top left of your screen when you join a game, you see, well, the title, and then the rest of the screen's black for a few seconds, and then it goes on to show you the map, and the loading screen, and all that sort of stuff, but when I did that, I was sitting at that black screen with the map name for about half an hour by which time the, the match was obviously over. And it turned out that it was just, uh, the game was freezing at that point, but the music was still playing. And I noticed quite a lot of people were having that problem. Now, I, I did search for various fixes, and the fix that um, the fix that was supplied was, you go into your Steam Apps folder, of, well, you go into Black Ops 2, obviously. Then, from Black Ops 2, you want to go into the like kind of the install packages and you run the DirectX installer and you run the C++ repair but what they didn't tell you is that to fix to actually fix it for your graphics card you you have to do run with graphics cards because other uh, run with graphics card and then your your good one assuming you have a good one because if you don't well if you don't have a good one you're fucked but if you do have a good one you're like wait a minute why can't I run this I should be able to run this what the hell like me then you'll be saying well th this is pretty weird what you actually have to do and it does not tell you anywhere just right click on the application then go to run with graphics processor and for me it's run with high performance NVIDIA processor V2 
for you it might be AMD or whatever your graphics card is. I don't think there's many other graphics card brands out there. Maybe an ATI if, it, if you've got an older one. And then just carry on the install. You, have, you do this for both the DirectX and the C++ repair. Um, I believe it's C++. It's Microsoft Visual C++. Yeah, that's it. And once you've done that, your game should run. But in case it doesn't, I would um, go into your graphic, go into your uh, Steam Ass folder again. Uh, open up your NVIDIA control panel or your ATI or AMD or whatever control panel then allocate your graphics cards to the game so your laptop I'm, I'm just assuming you have a laptop if you're having the, the same problem with a desktop it might work I'm not sure but with my laptop I've got two graphics cards like separate ones not um, none of that uh, crossfire or SLI stuff it's a good laptop but it's not that fancy and from there you just uh, um, damn it yeah sorry from there you you just allocate the game as to that graphics card and that should fix all your problems anyway guys thank you for watching I, I do hope you enjoyed uh, this kind of commentary chit chat fix thing uh, on Call of Duty if you want to see more Call of Duty videos uh, please tell me in the comments and I'll get back to you next time